This is a silent cheer, everybody. I'm doing a silent cheer because this is the last day of this unit where we've been really working on some of these new R control sounds. But before we finish the unit, teachers always want to give a test to be able to check in and see how you're doing and if you're understanding it. Because next unit, we're going to be learning a whole bunch of new sounds. Okay, so let's go ahead and have one last good day of review. AR, warm or. OR, warm er. And of course, let's practice them like this. AR, car R. AR, beggar er. AR, warm or. Three sounds for this little sucker. Two sounds for this one. OR, horn or. OR, doctor er. OR, worm er. Right? One syllable word after a W, two syllable word at the end, it says er. Okay, great. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of a game to help you practice adding suffixes to words. You are going to need your dry erase board and your marker. Okay. And you are going to pick a word. Actually, I'm just going to give you one word at a time, and you're going to see how many of these suffix endings you can put on the word to make a real word that actually really makes sense. So here's your first word. I'll write it at the top. What does it say? Fire. Now think about the rule that you know. What kind of syllable is this? Yeah, it's a vowel consonant E. So you're going to have to think about the spelling pattern when you add um, endings, right? Do you remember the rules here? Do you need a reminder? So anytime you feel like, ooh, I don't remember, that's when your student notebook comes in handy. So whenever it's a spelling rule, go to the spelling section and you can flip through until you find these suffixes. So you have a page all about the 111 rule and silent E rule. So that's what we have now with the word fire. So it says right here, when adding a vowel suffix to a base word ending in E, drop the E. So if you can add any of these vowels, you just drop the E and add the suffix. If you're adding um, a consonant suffix, then you just add it, okay? So with the word fire, how many suffix endings can you put on it to make it a word? Ready, go. Okay, what did you come up with in that amount of time? Here's what I got. Fired, and I dropped the E to add ED. You're fired, and fires. There's a lot of fires. It's a suffix, a consonant suffix, so I just added S. Okay, let's erase and do another one with this game. Let's do another vowel consonant E. What does the word say? Blare, like I'm gonna blare my music. All right, how many suffix endings can you put on it to make a real word? Ready, go. Realize my suffix s is missing. There we go. Okay, what did you guys come up with so far? Here's what I got blared, like he blared his music, blaring, she's blaring it right now, or blares. He blares it all the time. Okay, here is your next one.
What is the word? Blur. Do you remember the rule? Is it a one, one, one word? Okay, so if it's a one, one, one word, then you can look in your notebook here. The doubling rule, right? If it ends with a um, consonant, just add the suffix. If it ends with a vowel, what do we do? We have to double the R. Okay, ready? Go. right there. Let's see how many we came up with. All right, these are all my suffix endings, so I doubled the R's, or my vowel suffix. Blurred, blurring, blurry. And then I had one consonant suffix, so I just added the S. Blurs. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, let's do stir. Okay, let's talk about the rule. Is it a one, one, one? One syllable, one vowel, one suffix. So same rule as blur. Ready, go. Okay, stop. What'd you come up with? I did all my doubled R's. Yeah, when we mark them, we star them. Stirred, like she stirred the pot. Stirring, I'm stirring it right now. And stirrer, it kind of looks funny. You be the stirrer. And then stirs, no double R there. And I did just check, stir looks funny, but it is a real word. Sometimes there's a machine that's a stirrer or it's a person's job when they're cooking. Okay, let's erase and just do a couple more of this game. All right, here's your word to do suffix endings. All right, write it at the top. What's our word? Hurry. So if you're not sure about the rule, look at that. If you turn the page in your notebook, there's two whole pages that say the Y and suffix rule. So, since we end in a Y here, if the Y follows a consonant in an open syllable, we change the Y to an I when adding any suffix. And the I keeps the sound of the Y. So what does our Y sound like here? It sounds like an E. Okay. So if we are going to be adding a suffix, then we're going to have to change it to an I. Follows a consonant, so we're changing it to I on any suffix. Ready? Here we go. Okay, stop. How did you do? Remember, we said the Y always changes to an I. Hurries, hurried. But there's one exception. If the suffix ending starts with an I, then the Y stays. Did you remember that? Like in the word hurrying. And it does say that down in the bottom of your notebook, too. So this notebook is awesome. If you get stuck, look in that notebook. Okay, guys, let's erase and we'll do one more word. We're going to do worry. Same rule, right? We know that if the Y comes after a consonant, then we change the Y to an I with all suffix endings unless they start with I. Ready, go.
And stop. I got four. How many did you get? Let's read them. Worries, worried, worrier, and worrying. All the Y's change to I's, except in this one, because the suffix starts with I. Don't erase these. Let's mark them. Underline the base word, circle the suffix, and show the sound of the vowel. So the I sounds like a long E, just like it did in its original form. Try the next one. Should look like that. Worrier. Worry is the base word, er is the suffix. The I sounds like a long E. And worrying. We have our whole base word, our suffix, and the Y sounds like the E. Just like that. Okay, my friends, let's erase. That was a nice review. And I just want to check in so that you feel prepared for the test. Okay, so I'm going to tell you exactly what's on the test all the stuff we've been doing all unit. You need to know all the sounds for er, or, r, and sl. You need to know the new sound alikes, heard, bury, and worn. You need to know which is which. And then you're gonna need to be able to write some words that have r control with multiple syllables and with suffix endings. And you really want to make sure you use your student notebook and you look up your spelling options in case you're not sure. Okay, to mark them, you're going to have to scoop your syllables, underline your syllables, and circle your suffixes, star any bonus R's, and mark your R control syllables. Okay, so the last thing I'll practice with you on the whiteboards um, are those sound like words to make sure you know. So you need to know this sentence. I've already worn these clothes many times. Which worn is that? Write it down and then check it. That's W-O-R-N. I've worn the clothes. And let's practice bury. Did the dog bury the bone? Okay, check it out. That is that bury. So if any of those things I said were tricky, you can really prepare for the test by looking through your student notebook and reading over all the examples and all the rules. And you can even like put stars on them or put post-its in it so that then when you use it for your test, you'll know right where to go to if you need help. Remember, you're allowed to use that notebook on your tests. It's like your best friend. Okay, great job, guys. Erase your um, dry erase board and put all your things away after you're done doing any extra studying you need to do today. We'll see you next time for a new unit.